uh, we picked this up for our kiddo. Um, and uh, these are everywhere. They're like low cost and it it's a mimic cactus. Yeah. So why don't you do a little demo and um, I'm, then I'm going to show some footage with our with our kiddo. Hi, cactus. Hello. Hello. Yeah. How are you doing? And it plays music and all that stuff. But here's the main use of it. And I'll just show what this is what Mess, all the people messing do. with babies. Yeah. All right, so since we've had a kid, we're taking apart all the toys. We're also thinking of ways to make things better. Um, we're also thinking of things like, well, you know, ChatGPT generates tons of fictional fun stories. Great. Let's have uh, toys uh, plugged into that. That's kind of funny. Um, but we thought there wasn't really any good teardowns. There was a lot of people who were just like, look, here's a chip on it. But we, I thought it'd be fun to have Lady Ada show how this thing works. And then um, as part of our show, show if you wanted to make something like this, uh, what you would do and where you would find the parts. So uh, let's do, I think, the only live teardown. Cactus teardown. Cactus teardown. Yeah. Well, yeah, only one cactus was harmed in this. Yes, this cactus yeah. lives. All right, so uh, overhead. OK, so going to the overhead, um, we we skinned the cactus. Uh, show the, here, show the show, okay, this, is the yeah. this is the box. Yeah, this is the skin. So we've de de-skinned the cactus, um, which is again green, but you you yeah. it you, you can't we drained all the cactus. It drained the cactus. So it's you took it. It's it's got polyfilm in it, um, and we pulled it out, and so it's a, it's just a, a fabricy cover, and then you know where the the stickers are. There's just like these stickers. It's it's where the buttons are. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. And then we took out the um, one one part of the plastic. There's the plastic base, which is uh, two two parts that are screwed together. <clears throat> and then we get to um, to the actual electronics part. So here, okay. So we've got um, a couple couple pieces here. So one is uh, the part that rotates to dance the cactus. So it's just a, a you know a piece of plastic that's um, bent around, and so it's like sinusoidal, and, and it's got it's like this cheap tubing on it, uh, so that when it rotates, uh, you know, it kind of like swirls around, looks like it's dancing, and then. This is uh, low cost fairy lights. So we actually have these in the shop. They're kind of cool. So these are meant for like florists and stuff, um, but there's a really inexpensive way to add uh, lighting. So um, they can be individual colors. So like, by the way, there's like, you know, all the cactuses are just slightly different. They're like probably multiple factories making knockoffs and the knockoffs of the cactuses. Um, this one uses the fairy lights. I think it's just white, white LEDs and then um, these are enameled wires that the LEDs are bonded to, and then there's just a little dot of epoxy. These are like super, super cheap. So it is, it's not a bad way to, and they're cool. So it's not a bad, like you could use them with the polyfill. You don't have to worry about it catching on fire. Uh, not that I guarantee this won't catch on fire. Uh, and then underneath here is the battery pack, right? So it runs on three AA batteries. And then here's the electronics. There's a lot of wires. So, uh, Hold on, let me de-wirify this. Okay, so this is the LEDs. So the LEDs um, are connected to like just a GPIO and they're turned on, they're flashed. There's the motor. The motor is a, um, you know, it's a DC motor, you know, 4.5 volt, 3 volt motor. And then it's got a uh, belt to this gear train and that just slows it down a lot because it's like a 3000 RPM motor. Here's an on off switch, which goes in here. Um, and then uh, we've got the speaker driver, right? Because these two wires are the speaker. Hold on, let me. I feel like this kind of got a little bit twisted around. Hold on. I don't know if I can untwist this. Hold on. Okay, so um, these are the two buttons. So there's like two uh, like record playback type buttons. There's a speaker. Uh, it looks like probably just like an eight ohm quarter watt speaker connected over here. Um, and then here's the circuitry board. And what I like is that it's, you know, it's paper phenolic, single sided. And so you get to have 
a really cool layout. Like it's a really beautiful layout because they have to figure out how to get, you know, the ground all the way around. So I think like this, the ground plane is like the ground outer ring basically. And then we're going to zoom in and then we're going to focus in on this. Okay. So this is the uh, circuit. And what you see is, is that there's actually, there's not a lot going on here. For example, there's no regulator, right? So the power goes straight in from the battery, which is uh, this black line and this red line and then this blue line. Uh, no, sorry, that's the motor, the green line here. So this green line, you know, there's a little capacitor here. Sorry. This green line is power in, there's a little capacitor, but otherwise, uh, you know, it pretty much just powers all the circuitry directly. Um, save 10 cents, don't need a regulator, just need like one or two capacitors. And then this is uh, the motor driver, I think, blue. Yes, yeah, so this is the motor driver. So the motor driver, it doesn't have a built-in motor drive. So there is a transistor here. Uh, it's a very simple MOSFET, uh, you know, just a little uh, SOT89, I think, MOSFET to uh, turn on the motor, turn off. You don't need an H bridge because you're, you're going to spin one direction only. And then uh, there's like one capacitor, one resistor here just for the, uh, actually this is probably a BJT, not a, uh, not a MOSFET because there's a inline 100 ohm resistor. And then um, these are the, this is the wires to the LEDs, these enamel wires. This yellow set is um, the speaker. So you can see here is because they go directly into both of them go directly in and there's no amplifier. This is a chip that has a built in class AB or class D amplifier that can drive an eight ohm speaker. So this is a specialized audio chip already. I'm like, okay, this is a chip that does audio specifically because to have a built in class D uh, or class AB uh, speaker driver for um, an eight watt, that's eight ohm quarter watt speaker. And then also the microphone as well. As so you can see here, um, there's a microphone. This looks like there's a capacitive uh, bias to it, maybe. Not exactly sure. I thought it was an electret, but no, I'm not. I mean, I guess it could be an electret that maybe is surface mounted or wave soldered on. Um, unclear. And then this, the microphone also goes in directly uh, into the um, chip. So that means it has a built-in microphone amplifier. Uh, there's a second chip here and normally you would be like, oh, you know, this chip is like a, uh, you know, it's that's the audio amplifier, right? Uh, it's actually not. This is actually the flash chip. Um, and the reason you can tell is it's got, see, it's got the T25S80. 25X number number is uh, nor flash, right? You've got the uh, W25 q 16 That's what we use. 25S80 is going to be plain SPI. It doesn't, it doesn't have the Q, right? So it's probably just plain SPI, not quad SPI. Uh, very, very low cost, uh, um, 88 megabit probably flash. So this is probably where the memory is stored. So this chip has the program memory stored externally, probably. I don't think that this is the audio storage because it doesn't make, it doesn't make a lot of sense to spend money on SPI flash to store the audio in, but it could be that it stores, you know, it could be that you record it. It can use half of this for flash memory and half of it for um, the audio recording and playback. So there, there's this finally, it's like, okay, we looked at everything on the board. There's no LDO. There's the motor driver. There's flash memory. And you, if you Google this number, you'll find the data sheet for this. It's just a low cost um, flash memory chips. And then finally, there's this, there's the mystery chip, right? It's got this cool logo which is like a JL, but it looks like a pi symbol. And then the part number is a AB22BP00521, which, um, you know, and then there's the, there's some deeds here, but they're not very useful. So I was like, well, you know, it's 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 clearly not an American chip. It's, it's probably a, a Chinese uh, chip designed for, you know, these very low cost audio playback projects. So I thought... Um, we could, I quickly was like, well, I might as well Google for it. So what I did is go to the computer. Thank you. Uh, I just Googled for the first. So sometimes, you know, the, the secondary digits are uh, so specifications, like how much RAM they have or like the speed. So I just searched for the first couple characters. I didn't find, you know, there's nothing with that particular um, part number. But, 
you know, a lot of the chips look similar. And one thing that I do know is that you'll often see like rebrands, like there'll be one chip core and then they'll they'll tweak it for a customer. So a customer's like, look, you know, I need this audio playback chip, but I want it to have, you know, more RAM or less RAM, or I want you to do something tweaky with the peripherals or give me a more powerful amplifier or bond in something on the chip, who knows? So, um, well, I did find, I did not find that part number. Um, I did find, chips that had the same uh logo which was helpful right because i was like i never i don't recognize this logo and this logo is for yeah so i had google, I like google and like i found it here and then like i was like okay here and then it was like jerry uh brand chip or jl jerry so it makes sense right because it looks a little bit like a jane and l um and they make bluetooth audio chips and then they make also usb S, this is spi flash music player so like very similar stuff um i did find they have a github so they're called uh jay lee so jerry uh jay lee um and they have you know, bluetooth sdk so they make microcontrollers very inexpensive microcontrollers probably based on the 8051 uh maybe some whisk 5 nowadays uh there's some documentation uh for their other chips uh like the ac 1082 mp3 playback chips Looks like they're doing knockoffs of the WT8002 uh, series. So um, for those who don't know about it, WT Sound IC. They they make also very similar low-cost, you know, voice recorder chips, um, MP3 playback, you know, type chips for, for audio recording, audio playback, audio control, whatever. But this is definitely, you know, they have an SDK. I thought it was cool. It was like, this is... They have open source documentation. Um, doesn't mean it's great, but it's open source. It's a microcontroller. You can program it. So this is probably, you know, they somebody took the example of like a record and playback um, example, like, a, a you know, a common thing is a uh, record and playback uh, greeting card where you open it, you record a message, and then when they you know, the next person opens it, it plays back the message. But they just changed the timing and they changed then it automatically records at all times. Then after a pause on the audio uh, volume, it will um, play back the existing audio, but at double speed, right? So it's a, it's a cute, fun hack. Like it's probably using an example code that they've already got. Um, so again, I couldn't find a data sheet. I also honestly didn't look that hard, but you know, probably this is one of those chips that's slightly tweaked off of their existing line. Um, AB22P, I'll tell you another thing that's quite common is, and I, I think it's hilarious that um, whenever you get these low cost toys and you open them up or like low cost modules, the companies often sand off the part number uh, or they change the part number. So it's like not as easy for competitors to clone them. You know, could be something like that as well. Um, and then this is what it's called. It's called a uh, Mimic Dancing Cactus. So there's there's like hundreds and hundreds of sellers of these uh they're all pretty much the same thing um ironically I, I bet if other people did a tear down one of these you're going to find a slightly different chip because i'm sure that there's so much competition in this space uh to lower cost and you know they could have jay lee might have made a deal with one company and then another company wants to knock them off and make their own cactus toy they'll go to another company and you know they'll they'll use a slightly different chip and uh we write the code but uh, at least for now, I thought it was interesting. Um, you know, audio audio playback chips are kind of neat. I'm going to show out the great search. Uh, another low cost uh, audio chip as well. But that's that's my teardown of the the cactus buddy. Hello, thank you, cactus buddy, for teaching us about the Jaylee audio subsystem. Chip. All right. <laughs>